What's going on my dear friends? Today in this video, let's learn and master the Angular Framework's latest version. So, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to this new section where we are going to dive into really cool feature of Angular, which is Angular Pipes. So guys, what exactly are pipes and why should we care about them? Well, that's what we are going to find out. Alright, so first thing first, what are Angular pipes? Simply, pipes are a way to transform data directly in your templates. Think of them as a little tools that take in some data, do some processing on it and then return a nicely formatted output, right? Imagine you have a number but you want to display it as a currency. Or maybe you have a long string that you need to trim. Pipes allow you to do these kinds of transformation in a super simple and readable way. Right inside your Angular templates or inside the component HTML file. We don't need to write codes and methods inside the component TS file. So you guys might be thinking why not just handle data transformation in my components TypeScript code. Well, the beauty of pipes is that they keep your templates clean and concise. Instead of writing a bunch of logic in your component to handle data formatting, you can just use a pipe in your template, making your code easier to read and maintain. And also guys, Angular pipes help you to separate concerns. Your component's job is to manage data and logic while pipes handle how that data is presented. The separations make your code more modular and easier to test. So what kinds of pipes are there? In Angular, we have two main types of pipes. So first we have the built-in pipes. So guys, Angular comes with several pipes right out of the box. These include pipes for formatting dates, numbers, string, and even handling asynchronous data. We'll dive into these built-in pipes shortly. So next we have the custom pipes. Sometimes the built-in pipes aren't enough and you need to create your own. Custom pipes let you define your own data transformations tailored to your specific needs. Don't worry, we'll cover how to create custom pipes later on. All right, so now let's talk briefly about how pipes works in our Angular templates. When we apply a pipe to a piece of data, Angular passes that data through the pipes transform method. The transform method is where all the magic happens. It processes the data and returns the transformed output. So here's a quick example to give you an idea. Let's say we have a number and we want to display it as a currency. In this example, the currency pipe takes this number and transform it into a formatted currency string like this by adding the currency symbol and it will separate the number by adding commas. So very simple, right? So with one simple line of code in our template, we got this wall formatted value. Awesome, right? So as you can see, pipes are incredibly powerful and make your templates much cleaner and easier to manage. So they are especially useful when you are dealing with the data that needs to be displayed in specific format or when we want to perform a transformation that are purely presentational. So alright, now that you have a good understanding of what pipes are and why they are useful, next we are going to dive into the different types of pipes that Angular offers out of the box. We'll start with some of the most commonly used built-in pipes and then we'll explore how to create our own custom pipes. So see you in the next lesson. Alright so guys in this lecture we are going to dive into some super handy angular pipes that help you to manipulate and format strings right in your templates. So these are the uppercase, lowercase and title case pipes. So these pipes make it easy to transform your text data without writing any extra codes in your components. So guys um, I have an h1 tag inside the app component for you with this text angular app and all letters are lowercase. 
in any case if i want to make these all letters into uppercase letters how do we do that in traditional web application for this we can use the javascript or we can use the css styles right um, let's quickly look at how to do this using the traditional javascript and css approach so you guys can easily understand the use case of angular pipe so first let's quickly look at the javascript way for this we have to uppercase method in javascript right for this guys we'll create a variable title inside the app component is file so set this type as string and set a default value as angular app all lowercase letters so inside the heading tags replace this with the title variable so how do we do that very simple inside this and the string interpolation and add the title variable so now let's create a button down here and let's name it something uppercase so guys now i want to transform this h1 text into uppercase when clicking this button so for this first bind click event and from here call a method something uppercase next inside the app component is file create this method so the method name is uppercase after this parenthesis and the method scope now inside this let's transform this title value to uppercase so this dot title and again dot as i said previously for this we can use the javascript method to uppercase right so after this dot and the method name is to uppercase at last don't forget to add the parenthesis so next simply update the title variable value with the new uppercase value uh, how do we do that very simple just simply assign this to the title variable again perfect now guys simply this will transform this title variable value to uppercase and reassign that modified value to the title variable again so that's it save this and go to the browser you can see the heading text all lowercase letters now so click on this button as you guys can see here this change the value to all uppercase letters so guys this is the traditional approach to do this uppercase transformation so we have to go through several steps and codes to achieve this for simple tasks like this you don't feel that much stress about these steps but in a real world application you may have to do this several time inside of a single application so in that case trust me guys this process is very very painful but as a solution for this angular has provided us this pipes approach so using this we can simply achieve the data format that we need in just adding a simple angular pipe inside the html file so in our case in order to transform this text to uppercase we can simply use the uppercase pipe instead of this long code so let's see this in action all right so guys let's add the uppercase pipe to this so for this let's create another h1 tag after this button now inside this add the string interpolation and inside this add the title variable now i want to transform this text to uppercase so we'll use the uppercase pipe for this so guys how do we add that so first thing first we have to add the pipe symbol which is this vertical slash you can find the key top of the right enter key on your keyboard so after this pipe symbol we have to pass the pipe that we want which is uppercase all simple letters so carefully follow this naming convention so guys next um, as you guys can see here we are getting this compile error why is that can you guys tell me nothing much here guys in order to fix this we have to import this uppercase pipe to this component so go to the app component is file and add this inside the imports array add the uppercase pipe and select this auto complete this will add the import statement guys these all pipes are coming with angular command module now inside this html file there is now we cannot see the previous error so save this all and go to the browser as you guys can see here this time the second title is all in uppercase letters 
which means the uppercase pipe is applied to this successfully. So if you look at the both JavaScript and Angular pipe approach, this Angular pipe approach is clean and less noisy compared to this JavaScript method, right? We can simply do this uppercase transformation inside the template file or the HTML file. We don't need to use the component file like the JavaScript way. So simply guys, this uppercase pipe converts all the characters in a string to uppercase. So sometimes this uppercase may be useful when we want to emphasize certain text or follow some specific design guidelines that require uppercase letters. Mm, that's it for this uppercase pipe. Now let's move on to the next string manipulation pipe which is lowercase pipe. Alright guys, in the previous lecture we learned how to deal with uppercase pipe. Now in this lecture let's see how to deal with the lowercase pipe. So guys, nothing much here. With this, we can transform a set of letters into lowercase letters. The same opposite of uppercase pipe. So let's use the same title variable for this as well. So again, let's add another h1 tag and inside that add the string tabulation and add the variable name title. Now let's, hmm, we have a problem here. This title variable value is now all in lowercase. So let's make it uppercase all letters then we can see how the lowercase pipes work now inside the app component HTML file let's add the lowercase pipe so how do we do that first add the pipe symbol which is vertical slash after this add the pipe which is lowercase and as you guys can see here we are getting this compile error why is that so in order to use this lowercase pipe we have to import it right so inside the app component ts file, inside this import array, add this lowercase pipe. Now select the pseudo complete. This will add the import statement. That's it. So save this all and go to the browser. As you guys can see here, we got this title value, all title value in all lowercase characters. So simply this lowercase pipe will convert all the characters into lowercase inside of a string value. Sometimes it's useful when we want to display a text all in lowercase characters. So hope you guys got the idea. So guys, now let's uh, quickly look at the title case pipe. So what is this title case pipe? So guys, this pipe is really cool because it transforms the first letter of each word in a string to uppercase while converting the rest of the letters to lowercase. So it's perfect for formatting names, titles and other similar strings. So let's see this in action. Now for this also let's use the same example. So down here again add another h1 tag and add the string interpolation. Inside this add the title variable. So now this all in uppercase characters. So now I want to transform this into title case. All the words first letter must be uppercase and all other letters must be in lowercase. So for this we can use the title case pipe. So let's do this. After this add the pipe symbol and add the pipe which is title case, all lowercase letters. So in order to work with this we have to import this pipe. So add the pipe inside the import array. The pipe name is title case. Select this auto complete. This will add the import statement. That's it. So save this all and go to the browser. As you guys can see here, this the text formatted as title case, which means the title case pipe is working as we expected. So alright guys, uh, this is how we deal with uppercase, lowercase and title case pipes in Angular. Alright guys, so uh, that's it for the string manipulation pipe. So some of you might be wondering why not just handle these string manipulations in my components file. Well, these pipes allow you to keep your templates clean, right? So instead of writing lines of lines and methods of methods to do these formattings, simply we can handle it right in our template or the HTML file where the data is being displayed. So this makes our code more modular, easier to read and easier to maintain. So hope you guys got the idea. So guys, that's it for this lesson. So in the next lesson, we'll explore the number pipes in Angular. So which help us to format numbers, percentages and currencies with simple steps. 
so let's move on to the next lesson all right guys in this lesson we are going to talk about number pipes in angular so these pipes are super useful when you need to format numbers percentages and currencies directly in your templates they make it easy to display numeric data in a user-friendly way without writing extra logic in your components so under these number pipes we have few pipes so let's start with the basic number pipe so this pipe formats a number as text allowing you to specify the number of decimal places as well as grouping separators like commas so let's look at an example so you guys can understand this well for this let's add another h1 tag down here and add the string interpolation inside this just add a dummy number value something like this one two three four five six seven dot eight nine so now save this and go to the browser as you guys can see here we got this number value but guys when we dealing with number values inside the browser view most of the times as a good practice we will separate the number decimal values using the commas so it more readable than this right so in traditional javascript we can do this using a separate method like we did before uh, to the uppercase using the to uppercase method right so but in angular we can do this number formatting simply using the number pipe so let's add this as you guys know in order to add the pipe first thing first we have to add the pipe symbol so after that we have to add the pipe so which is the number pipe now as you guys can see here we are getting this error why is that guys same as previous in order to use this we have to import this pipe to this component so let's do this inside the app component is file add this so guys in order to use the number pipe we have to import the decimal pipe module right so add that here the importing module name is decimal pipe select this auto complete this will add the import statement that's it so now save this and go to the browser as you guys can see here now this number value formatted by adding this comma separation and also we can read this number without any problem compared to the previous row number value right so this is the beauty of the number pipe hope you guys got the idea